Hi, I'm Leslie McBain, the Development Director at Portland Media Center. I hope you've been faring well these past few months of social distancing. Staying home, staying safe, and staying well have been the top priorities for most of us. Along with these priorities, we've been adjusting to a new way of connecting with our colleagues, our various organizations, and most importantly, our loved ones. Technology has become our new best friend. Portland Media Center has embraced this new use of technology as we continue providing media services for our greater community. As someone who has benefited from our services in the past, you understand how important it is that we continue to provide these services. Hi, I'm Tom Handel, Executive Director at the Portland Media Center. Our world has changed drastically in a very short period of time. Not only have these changes impacted our financial situation, but they've impacted our productivity and emotional health as well. Like all other organizations worldwide, we're coping with fulfilling our mission and maintaining our operations while staying safe and assisting as best we can with minimizing the spread of COVID-19. We've put together a few bullet points of what PMC has been doing in response to COVID-19's impact on us. Post on our website, along with our social media, not only our video content, but also information from local nonprofits about their services during the pandemic. Provide content to our channel regarding the roots of the pandemic, prevention techniques, social isolation tips, best practices for taking health precautions, and local health resources. Offer tips on general lifestyle changes, such as at-home exercising, cooking tips, guided meditations, movie reviews, and various entertainment programs. Schedule classes for school-aged children with a local teacher four times a week. Air church services so that people can continue their spiritual practices from home. Air virtual city council meetings and other public meetings that were recorded through conferencing applications. Develop new classes online in the use of cell phones and iMovie so that anyone can produce videos to share with the community. Film some of our long running programs, such as Patients on the News and Community Kitchens through the use of Zoom. Support the state's effort to enforce the recent state law that requires our stations to be switched from 1301 and 1303 back to channels two and five, which may happen as soon as June 30th, 2020. Apply for and receive funds from the Payroll Protection Program, and we'll be applying for other funds to recover some of the losses experienced during this time. Held a virtual mixer celebrating Cinco de Mayo with our volunteers and producers to get updated on everything our production community is doing and what we all plan to do in the months ahead. Given this difficult time, we have struggled with going ahead as usual with our spring appeal. While we rely on our annual appeals to help sustain us, we're also mindful of the financial struggles everyone is facing at this time. We're asking for your support right now as someone who's been involved in organizations and activities that have benefited from Portland Media Center services over the past years. While doing so, we also understand everyone's limited means at this time. Any donation, regardless of the amount, will not only help us continue our mission, but each contribution shows us the value you place on the resources and programs PMC has shared with the community. Donations may be made to Portland Media Center at 516 Congress Street, Portland, Maine, 04101, or by going to our website, portlandmedia.org, and pressing on the Donate button. We appreciate your consideration of this appeal. Please stay safe and hopeful for a better world ahead. <laughs>